Hello, TJ and Biscuit here. Say hello, Biscuits. Say hello. Don't be rude. Look up at the camera. No, no. She wants to go around my legs. Um, anyway, this is a uh, little polytunnel update for you at the end of August. It's the 28th of August. Um, now, I've had to put this little uh, cheap old rope around this thing because it's falling to pieces. We went from gale forced winds to show you the outside of it there um to a mini heat wave um for the last few days it's been incredibly hot over in the uk anyway back to the plants um so the ahi fantasy sparkly whites these two here the actual peppers uh, which are in here um, if you look at the reviews, like the Hippie Sea uh, Company, uh, that's what the pepper should look like, nice and firm. But this heat we've had has made the skins go slightly wrinkly. Now, whether they're meant to go like that, I have no idea. Um, and that is the sparkly effect that they give. It's raining, thank God. Um, I don't know but anyway I stripped most of them off the plants um, they're like eating a hot granny smith apple they're absolutely gorgeous and I will do a little review uh, on these but I'm going to bosh this lot in the freezer in a big freezer bag um, for future meals and then we had to strip off the uh, some of the baby bird bird's eye which I've no idea what's going on <coughs> Excuse me, with these peppers. I look like they're growing other little peppers um, out of the side of them. Not all of them are doing it, but uh, some of them are. There's just a few Aleppo peppers I took off. So anyway, um, they've had a really, really good drink today. Um, I've gone from like two to three times a week to feeding them every other day now um, with either nutrients or just plain rainwater. Um, so hopefully this so there's I've left a few small pods on there. Let's move over that one. A few, a few small pods so that will give me some more fresh ones and hopefully I'll get to them before they go wrinkly. Um, and I'll do a review on these things because they're beautiful. Anyway, we've got the old uh, penis peppers there. As you can see, I've given them another strip at the bottom to get more light and airflow um, because this weather has just been so up and down it's typical British weather but the, the, the heat waves is, it is certainly getting hotter over here I can tell you that now um, so they're the Aleppo peppers um, let's move over to here that's another penis pepper I'm not going to crouch down for that these are the uh, baby birds eye and like I said before I think it's a, more of an ornamental plant the peppers will be edible um, don't know what I'm gonna what I'm gonna use them in. Perhaps chuck them all over a salad or something. Anyway, what we got over here? We got uh, the arbals. Don't worry about the leaves; they should come back. They've had a very good drink today. I've absolutely saturated them today. They don't normally. You normally grow them a bit dry, but when you've got a heat wave going on and they're in a rubbish polytunnel like this. Um, that is my, uh, oh, I can't remember what that is now. Yellow Fatale. Um, and then out over there we've got bird's eye. Normal bird's eye. Lots and lots of pods growing off them. Just waiting for them all to ripen. You, it's funny, you just come out one day and then you just see loads of ripe peppers, you know. Anyway, back over to the professional polytunnel biscuit's going to get in my way whoops this is the proper one so you'll notice a massive difference in the plants in here <coughs> so there's my Dougler plant here he comes here we go nosy 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 right that's my Dougler plant they're not massive pods on there I did take a couple off and I made a curry last week with them it was great I love the sound of that rain on the polytunnel. Over here, we have a chocolate bootla plant. 
You can see I've got some pretty good pods on here. Waiting for them to go brown. And there, some chocolate bootler. Okay, over here we have the jigsaw. And finally, I'm starting to get pods on my jigsaw. So I'm liking that. At least I'll get some this year. How many? I don't know. There should be a couple, a few good, good pods on that, and probably a load of little small ones. Um, moving over to here, what are we growing here? Again, as you can see, I've stripped all the bottom leaves, um, or anything that was touching the soil. Um, you know, obviously, I'm just looking at what I've got on the on the plant stand. I just want to give them the best. Um, I can give that's blurry that in my hands that is a uh, marugla marugla there's another marugla there really good pods on that one all right yeah that's maruglas there's three marugla plants there and they're all giving me pods and we move over to here this one is the chocolate ghost, which broke in half um, a couple of months ago, and I thought nothing would come off of this. But look at that little sneaky one in the background there. We've got the chocolate ghost on the go, um, and I think there's some small ones on there. Yeah, there we go. There's a small one there. Okay, and then over here we have the uh, seven pot Trinidad Jonah. Or the Trinidad seven pot Jonah, whichever way you want to say it, and there's another one, they're just starting to ripen, aren't they? No? Right, um, he is the protector of all chili plants, anyway. Over here, we've got the Scotch bonnets, you know, Scotch bonnets, lots of them, beautiful Scotch bonnets. All intertwining with this uh, Trinidad Seven Pot. Okay, where else are we going? Um, let's move up the polytunnel a little bit. So we have Sunrise Scorpion on this one. Sunrise Scorpion, it's one of them in pods. Beautiful. And another Sunrise just there. I did rotate these plants, so they're all round the opposite uh, end of the polytunnel, so they'll, they'll all get a little bit something different. And then in here, if I can reach in here, show you, is the King Naga. Mean pepper, mean Naga pepper. Okay, then moving over to here, we have Red Ghost, which finally is giving me lots and lots of pods. It's small at the moment, but there are a lot of them. So I'm really happy about that. I do love my ghost peppers. Over here, I think this is, uh, oh, it's, this is the Red Savina Habanero. Uh, Red Savina is the best Habanero in the world, mate. Without a doubt. Beautiful, beautiful pepper. Let's hope they do well. Over here we have BTR Scorpion. Like that, BTR scorpions. Tried a little baby one, it blew my head off. Okay, biscuit, come out of the way. Move, move, move your bum now. Right, uh, over here, whoops, let's go with this one first. We have lemon drops. I've heard a lot about these peppers, I'm really excited to try them. I cook with them and make salads and what have you okay I think that's all oh, this is a sugar rush peach and again heard some fantastic stories about the sugar rush peach and reviews I'm really excited about that one so, seemed appropriate to put them together all right let's move in up 
And these are all grown upwards. These are uh, orange ahi peppers. Some plants just, uh, they just all grow out at the top for some reason. Couple of jack in the beanstalk. They're the tallest plants I've got. Here's a jungle in here. Whee. So let me maneuver around here. What are we looking at now? So more sugar rush peach. Like that. Another sugar rush peach at the back there. This one is sugar rush peach. Oh, I went mad on them this year. Okay, what we got over here? Um, this is a Wartrex. This one wasn't giving peppers and it is now. Moving over this one is another Wartrex. Wartrex pepper. There you go. Another Wartrex down. Let's move that back. Come on, give him a good shot of the Wartrex. Come on. Get that bit of a flower off there. Biscuits? No. Gets down. You know you're not allowed to do that. Little sod. Okay, is it? We're doing a video. You're supposed to behave yourself. Right. This is another war tricks. Just starting to give me pods there. Over here. Carolina Reaper. At last. Starting to see a few. They're a little bit small. Uh, I can see a few reapers on here. At long last. So I have a few of my own reapers this year. Over here, in this corner here, is the why are you being a nuisance you? Is the what is it biscuit? Don't even know, do ya? Um neither do I. It's the BTR Scorpion. Move out of the way because you're being a nuisance now. It's the BTR Scorpion. What's Taylor Reaper Scorpion? Right. <coughs> Excuse the camera work, I'm trying to manoeuvre around here. And again, we have another BTR. There you go. BTR Scorpion. Okay. What have we got in there? Oh, that's a sugar rush peach. Now, over, over there, is my and this is where it's going to get hard to film it's my scotch brain big plant scotch brain looking forward to that um, it's a cross between a brain strain and a scotch bonnet my favorite pepper. well i've got two the fatale yellow fatale and the scotch bonnet is my favorite all right Move the background right here. Just give you a shot of the top of the plants. I'm going to try and get out of this mess. Right, let me move some plants now. I think we're almost there. Oh, yes, here we go. Wow. The big black mama. Big black mama. Look at those pods. Beautiful pods. There's that big one I showed you last time. Try and get a better shot of it. I absolutely can't see what I'm doing. Right. It's a serious jungle. If you look down that path there, you see what I'm contending with and when I have to feed them. Oh, more scotch bonnets down there. A couple of right ones there. Perhaps we'll have a scotch bonnet curry over the weekend. But yeah. There is another big black mama down there, but I am not getting in there, and they are going actually brown. I wonder if I can get in there. I wonder. I don't think I can. <coughs> can you see that one? Just in there, sneaking behind that bit of bamboo there. That's a brown one there. Oh, I might be eating big black mama this weekend. Wow. Oh, there's plenty of green pots there. There you go. So that's the other side of the Scotch brain plant. All the pots on the other side, they're shielded by leaves. 
Anyway, wow, let's get out of here. So that was the end of August. Chilly poly tunnel update. TJ Burns and my nuisance cat um, signing off. If you like the videos, like, share, subscribe. I really, really appreciate you helping me out. And you know, I hope this encourages people to uh, do stuff like I, I'm doing. It's it's a good hobby. You look at it as a hobby. It's hard work, but it's a good hobby and uh, you'll get something out of it. You have to put something into it, but you'll get something out of it. So that's that. Uh, if you wanna leave a comment, leave a comment in the comments box and I will get back to you. Okay, TJ Burns signing out of the jungle. Thank you.